The intention of our project, Mary Michael Pilgrim's Way, is to create an opportunity for people to step out of their day-to-day -day lives, slow down to walking pace, and through pilgrimage experience the simplicity and deeply nourishing benefits of a spiritual journey. We offer a basic structure of walking in silence. This is not intended to be austere or silencing, but rather a support to free people from habitual ways of being in company, enabling them to attend more to their unique inner experience, as well as deepening connection to the environment and fellow pilgrims. Each day we walk from one pre-arranged camping spot to another where our support vehicle which carries our tents and gives us the flexibility of a mobile kitchen is waiting, usually with the hot water urn on the go for reviving cups of tea, essential for weary pilgrims. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of Like if people were like over a football field or like in, like going like this, it's fresh. Whilst on pilgrimage, I have noticed in myself a quietening of the mind, creating space for reflection and insight. Cravings also seem to diminish, as if some part of me is deeply nourished by the simple process of walking to and between sacred sites. The journey is at times rigorous and physically demanding, Yet it engenders joy, gratitude and generosity of spirit, descriptions I have heard frequently repeated by others who have chosen the path of pilgrimage. Although we walk in silence, at various points along the way there is sharing, sometimes a story, poem or ceremony. For example, amidst the twisted oaks of the atmospheric Blackator Copse, we created a temporary sculpture of objects gathered along the way. Individual contributions together produced something of beauty and significance to those participating in the pilgrimage. There are opportunities each morning before breakfast for some group exercise and meditation.
The Michael and Mary lines are earth energy currents, identified by Hamish Miller and Paul Broadhurst, and described in their book, The Sun and the Serpent. They can be doused with rods. They weave their way across the country from West Cornwall to Norfolk. These earth energies are being followed in developing this project. The pilgrimage, with its associations with myth and history, spirituality and wilderness, offers a rich opportunity to reconnect with ourselves and attune more deeply to the still point of the turning world, as T.S. Eliot described it. Our camping spots are carefully chosen in beautiful locations. In the evenings, there is space for campfires, music, and stories. The boys' brigade used to wake up to a bloody bugle. On the final day of our Dartmoor pilgrimage, we completed by walking up to Scorrell Stone Circle before breakfast. Within the circle, surely constructed in part for such communal gatherings, there was a memorable experience as everyone spoke of their personal journey over the previous few days. Is everything going? Yeah. 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 Ye